Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my part two of product empties with makeup. So I have quite a few eye products, a couple of face products, and we're just going to get started. So we'll start with face. I have one of my all-time favorite foundations, which has actually been replaced. Okay, I have a new favorite foundation that I'm not going to talk about at this point in time because I have plans to put it into a different video that's upcoming. But this is a second place winner now, but it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Visible Cover Stick Foundation and I am the shade 117 which in their new color is Y225 Yellow 225. Oh yeah, it's all gone. Dug that out with tweezers because that stuff is not cheap. It's like $45 so, but best believe mama's got a fresh one because this stick foundation looks like skin. Um, it has impeccable coverage for looking like skin, and it blends beautifully with a brush, with your fingers, with a sponge, which is my favorite way to use it. It is, I would say, better suited for a dry combination to dry skin. If you do have oily skin, you're going to need to either mattify it with a primer or with a powder, but love that. Definitely have repurchased it. <laughs> Something that I used up completely um, is from my home Clinique is the Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight, and this is in the color Hefty Highlight. Currently, they only have one shade, and it has, I mean, I've used it up. But um, it's a stick highlight. You just twist it up, and there's not much left to show you. There might be a tiny bit. I can get a tiny bit out of there. That is what it looks like right there. It's so pretty. Um, it's very natural looking. There's a little bit of glitter or shimmer in it, but not too much. Definitely totally fine for people who have lines and wrinkles that they're concerned about um, because it just lights up your face. Like it will give you a really pretty radiance. That is probably my, in my top two of stick highlighters that I love. So I love that one, will repurchase. And now we have some mascara and liner. So, Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. Who makes this? L'Oreal, I think. I've used this before. I don't like it. <laughs> I personally find the brush awkward. It's triangle shaped. It gets gloopy. It doesn't get down to the base of your lashes. I don't feel like it actually volumizes what it sh is what it says it's supposed to do. So that one for me is a no-go. I will not be repurchasing because I have better ones that I found. Um, the Voluminous Lash Paradise, also by L'Oreal. This is the waterproof version. So this is the one that became very popular very quickly. Has a great brush. The waterproof is waterproof. So I think I bought this for purposes of vacationing. Um, and it did the job. So... I would repurchase it. Oh my gosh, are these all L'Oreal? No, this is the last L'Oreal one. L'Oreal Voluminous Original. We can tell what I like. Voluminous. <laughs> um, this is the Cobalt Blue formula. Something got into me and I needed a blue mascara. It is very blue. The trouble with this is when you put on your lashes, it's not that blue. You're going to have a tough time seeing this unless you're in lighting that's coming directly onto your lashes like direct sunlight you may see a tint of blue but um not worth it there are other companies who make colored mascaras that are actually colored like i would say i think it's ysl or dior that makes colored mascaras that are actually very vibrant and will coat your lashes i would not repurchase that one i also have this is one of my favorite mascaras covergirl total tease mascara the brush is awesome and although it looks very frightening the brush has an area down at the bottom for you to get in the inner corners and outer corners or bottom lashes and it is a rubberized spike brush um it teases your lashes exactly what it says like you would back home or tease your hair it really gets in there you can build up and get volume out of your lashes but also lengthens and doesn't make your lashes look clumpy because the brush is helpful in stripping your lashes of any excess mascara that may have been put on them by the brush so love that and then I have a liquid liner by Maybelline the Master Precise Eye Studio liquid liner in black no this is a no. Um, 
This is way too big to be effective on your eyes. It's almost as long as your eye. <laughs> or at least my eye. So I don't like that. What I feel like you need is something like this. This is the size difference. Okay, this is the Kat Von D Dagger Tattoo Liner in my right hand versus the Maybelline one. There's a huge size difference. The Maybelline one, you can't control, not enough comes out of it. So you end up getting a patchy, oops, you end up getting a very patchy liner. Didn't like it, wasn't worth the money. No. Okay. And we're finished. So those are all my empties. Now I get to throw all this up in the trash. Um, make sure to subscribe, okay? It's free. And you can ring the bell and you'll even know when I post a video. It's like internet magic. So um, enjoy and I'll see you soon. Bye.